let us come to cybernetics and uh, online control and microprocessor control system which is the last topic in and which is a very brief topic in power system instrumentation actually you can see over here cybernetics is a transdisciplinary approach and in the 21st century it has been originated actually it has been originated in massachusetts institute of technology by a british people the thing is that the cybernetics is related to many kind of systems like biological physical whether chemical mechanical cognitive and social systems Cybernetics is nothing but it is applied to a particular type of process and plant. That means if some input will be given, that input will be fed to a controller which is having some particular gain. After that, the controller output can be fed to an actuator. We, for the controller output will be treated as an actuator input. There we can introduce some types of noise over there. And after that we will get the output, output will fade back to the input, there will be one error detector. The error will count out the sum, count actually the sum and that sum will be fed as an input to the controller. So this is the actually the block diagram for cybernetics for its uh, process as well as plant. You can see over here for cybernetics we can use different type of simulation models. And uh, cybernetics, that particular thing is generally guiding the control, the communication, the efficiency, the connectivity of the system. Now, whenever we will talk about cybernetics, here you can see it is a science concerned with the study of systems of any nature which are capable of receiving, storing and processing information so as to use it for control. So it's a very important thing. And uh, after that, we can come to the microprocessor control and we are knowing this thing very well, that in microprocessor control, in modern control system, microprocessor control is a very important thing, whether it will be a 8-bit microprocessor or 16-bit microprocessor. And after that, we are using microcontroller also whether it is, will be 8-bit microcontroller or 16-bit or 32-bit from where we have come to pick an ARM processor. Pick is actually of 8-bit. But the thing is that um, in microprocessor controlled also, we are getting some dedicated output which will be fed to some interfacing device as their input and that output which will be treated as an input for the interfacing device will drive that interfacing device to get the desired output. Microprocessor and microcontroller chip in power systems in our daily life it will be used in various for, for various aspects. Now what is online control? Online control actually I told you that it will be applicable for local control system, it will be applicable for remote control system also. Whenever we are talking about the particular type of online control system, you can see over here, we are giving some input, there will this triangle is actually showing, it is one particular type of thing which is known as controller which is having let us having some gain A. This is here we are applying negative feedback B and here we are getting the output. So what will be the value of A into B? It will be a negative quantity as because B is, B is treated as a negative one. So A into B should be less than zero and so you can see over here for simple feedback model A B should be less than zero. So for online control system as well as cybernautics as where we are using this thing in power system instrumentation which is a new line of frontier for future aspects this thing is very very important and of course for cybernetics we have to do the thorough study of feedback feedback we are knowing very well positive feedback negative feedback feedback can be applied to any type of control system knowledge of black boxes and derived concepts uh, in case of communication and control for living organisms, mechanism, me machines, mechanisms and organization including self-organization is very much needed. Now, if I will just omit this thing of chronological development of cybernetics from where James 
what to John Wimling man when all those things we are passing through. We can see over here in the year of 1994 we are coming to the modern definition of cybernetics where cybernetics is used not only in social but it is having some aspect for socio-economic region. That means it is now bridging the gap between microchips and the macro industries. So it is a very important tool and hence we can say that in this particular section we are just completing the disturbance recorders, dynamic disturbance recorders, dynamic fault recorders. In this particular section we have also completed the remote control instrumentation. In this particular section we have completed the microprocessor control instrumentation which is used in power system instrumentation. We have seen the aspect of negative or the effect of negative feedback. And in this particular section we have also seen that all the aspect of online communication as well as the various aspects of cybernetics which I have just described to know. Because we are not going to the thorough details, it is not included in the syllabus, but once again I am telling you that cybernetics is a very important tool. This tool we can use for any type of power system, whether we are using PLCC power line carrier communication control, whether we are doing, going for automatic meter reading, there also nowadays we are using microcontroller chips, whether we are going for any other type of telemetry system, whether it is time telemetry, whether it is voltage telemetry, current telemetry, etc. Or whether we are going for any type of system where there will be profound effect of noise. By the use of cybernetics, we can minimize or we can optimize that profound, profound effect of noise and interference and we can get the fruitful result. So thus, we come to an end of this particular thing which is known as cybernetics, microprocessor control, online control, of course online control without the help of Ethernet, without the help of LAN, it is not possible because for local area control or for the communication between local and remote control station there should be a cloud, there should be Ethernet by which the communication will be going and as we are doing that uh, compared to optical communication, if you will go for wireless communication compared to, uh, in contrast to wired communication, if you will go for wireless communication, then the vast area we can cover over here. So, by this thing we can say that now there will be a transition from classical cybernetics to the particular thing of cybernetics that means the new cybernetics which involves a transition from classical problems to new problems and for this we can also say that the cybernetics is involving a change for emphasis on the system being steered to the system doing the steering and the factor which guides the steering decisions as well as there will be a new emphasis on communication between several systems which are trying to steer each other. So thus the endeavor of power system instrumentation will be over by the end of cybernetics, by the end of online communication system, by the end of dynamic and dynamic disturbance and dynamic fault recorders and with the advent of microprocessor and microcontroller and their advanced chip region we can see we can see that uh, the new emphasis on communication between several systems which are trying to steer each other. Thus, we conclude cybernetics, the portion of cybernetics related to power system instrumentation as well as we conclude the portion of online control system. We, we have come to a fruitful con conclusion regarding the microprocessor and microcontroller based control system which is related to power system instrumentation. One thing which is very important for every type of control system whether it is related to power system instrumentation for linear control or non-linear control system one thing is very important 
that is controlling or optimization of error as well as noise and interference. The devices nowadays which we are making that will be very much compact in nature with higher end of complexities. And there will be profound heating effect. That, that's why nowadays in VLSI we are using, we are, or rather we can say we are facing the challenge just to pull all those types of instruments because these types of instruments are closely aligned or closely related with power system instrumentation. Thus we can, thus we conclude this lecture session and hence the syllabus of power system instrumentation W5704 MTech electrical third semester is over. Thank you very much for your patience to all of you.